everybody, it's me, Lindsay Malloy. Thank you for coming back to my channel. And today I wanted to take you through my new, brand new Foxy Fix. Um, this is the Stella Foxy Fix. Um, it's one of the new leathers. And it is this gray leather. Um, it's kind of very shiny. The leather is actually much more easily scratched than I thought it would be. Um, it's very similar to the Rowena, but it's much more smoother. Um, so I'm interesting to s it's interesting to see how it will age because um, I definitely don't stop myself from letting something get scratched or anything like that. So um, I, I like the look of aged scratched leather. I think that's that's the way leather is supposed to look. So um, I'm just taking you quickly through the um, inserts that I have. Most of these inserts are from Jacenia's printables. I plan on using the week on four pages, but it doesn't start until May 7th. Um, so I actually printed off also the undated weekly uh, week on two pages, uh, which I'm trying to decide if I maybe might want to continue using the week on two pages maybe as like a... Um, like a memory planner or something like that that's within here. But for the first two weeks, um, while I'm waiting to get this all set up, um, I'm going to be using the undated week on two pages before I use the week on four pages. Um, so now I'm going to speed up, and I'm going to take you through the actual setup of my brand new Foxy Fix. Um, so if you want to skip to the actual walkthrough, um, I will leave a link down in the description below. This, all these papers that I am using in my Foxy Fix are from Michaels. Um, I absolutely love tropical leaf prints right now. Um, I have some, I'm, I'm obsessed with plants right now. I can't wait for it to be summer so we can be outside working in the yard um, in our new house. Uh, we, are, we chose to landscape all ourselves, so um, I'm looking forward to doing that with my husband. Um, so this second sheet um also my one of my favorite colors is is teal and blues and greens and things like that so on the back of this one i wanted to use a coral one it has a little bit of glitter on it um so i'm going to walk you through setting up my first dashboard this one i usually put in a little bit more effort um just to add a little bit more um a little bit more onto the page, um, so the Live a Positive Life, that little journaling card was actually a 12 by 12 um, sheet that was also from Michaels, and I just cut those up so that I could just flip through them and grab the one that I wanted. Um, I wanted some sort of positive quote, and I wanted to incorporate a bunch of gold um, because some of the papers that I did get from Michaels have some gold foiling on them, um, and that gold glitter washi is actually a 3M um, glitter washi I just got from Target um, quite a while ago. Um, these stickers are just some clear stickers. One has like, it's a, it was a set that had gray, white, and gold foiled um, stickers on clear. And then um, I can't remember where I got those stickers. The Harry Potter um, acrylic stamp set I got from Kelly Perky. And it's one of my favorite stamp sets. I got this stamp set before my husband and I went on our trip to um, Orlando. And we went to Harry Potter World for the first time. Um, so I that was the main reason why I got these. But I also love the quotes and just adding a little bit something Harry Potter into anything in my life. So um, I plan on definitely doing a Harry Potter um, Foxy Fix layout in the future but for now I wanted to do a tropical one because I wanted to get myself excited for the summer and for spring. Um, now I'm trying to flip through see if I wanted to add any other stamps. Um, these those stamps that you kind of saw over there were from um, Sandra. They um, they're super cute. They If you have a chance to go and see her channel. Um, I believe it is 
Cassandra something. <laughs> um, I'll have to find it. But her first name is Sandra. <laughs> um, so she's um, has a lot of great stamps um, and has a great YouTube channel where she goes through watercoloring and planning and um, scrapbooking and all sorts of things. So um, these little die cuts that I have here are from either Coco Daisy. Um, I used to have a planner box subscription through them. Oh gosh, two years ago. And then a few of the other ones are from just some die cut sets from a local scrapbooking store here in Colorado. So now I'm just, especially like the graph paper pieces, those are from um, the scrapbooking store. It was a little die cut set, basically, which I haven't been there in a while. I need to go back and check out and see what's new. So I just, I finally, in, um, I think I found what I wanted to set it up like. So I am just sticking it all down with a Tombow permanent roller adhesive. Um, I'm not totally 100% in love with this layout, but I did love, I wanted to still see lots of the um, leaves behind and um, focus on the quote mostly. So I left it pretty simple um, and just added one stamp with my second favorite quote that I felt like went along with living a positive life. It's a quote from Harry Potter and that little sticker set. Um, happiness can be found even in the darkest of times if one only remembers to turn on the light. Uh, which I think you can apply in lots of situations. Um, so here's another one of those die cuts um, for the back of that card. I'm using on that coral glittery paper. Um, and I'm going to use this kind of as a piece for layering. I want to use a photo. Um, so I'm using Jim Holt's Distress Ink. And this is Peacock Feathers. Um, and just sticking along the same color scheme of using lots of teals and different colors. So I am pulling up um, my HP sprocket and I will um, be printing off a picture from a recent trip to the Colorado Rockies baseball game. It was really cold that day, um, but we took a cute picture and wanted to print that off and just do a little bit of memory keeping. You'll notice throughout the rest of my Foxy Fix, I'll probably leave I'll leave, I will leave, <laughs> I will leave most of the pages semi-blank just because I want to add photos later on and kind of build upon what I have started. Um, so I want it to be kind of like a journey through the time that I'm having this set up. So, um, and then save the pieces and set up and maybe even um, scrapbook them somehow so they don't just... Um, go off into the trash or anything like that. I want to save them. So um, for this first part, I just have one of those. It's like a little acetate glitter tag with gold dots. And then that um, die cut um, graph paper piece. And then a little die cut love that was actually from, that was from a kit long ago from Coco Daisy. I was thinking I wanted to use some pop dots, um, some embellishment dots on there, but I didn't know if it would bother writing too much because I am one of those people that does not want to take out my planner stuff um, on the go and just write on the go right in there. I don't want to pull the inserts out unless I'm doing like a full on spread. Um, so I didn't want to have anything that would make it too bumpy. Um, I put those back in and I'm done with that. Um, first spread and I think it's pretty good I just needed to realign that live a positive life that 3m glitter washi is not very sticky um, so if you want it to be absolutely permanent um, I suggest adding extra bits of um, adhesive to the washi tape if you want it to be permanent but um, I didn't want it to be 100% permanent because I didn't know if I wanted to keep that card there forever um, I am using this vellum, um, print, it was a printable piece of vellum that I got some artwork from Etsy and I will link the shop down below for the shop that I got that, 
um, pattern washi or pattern um, de design from um, below in the description. And I had made that just to see how, just to test out making it. So I didn't actually make that um, on screen here, but um, this acetate with gold dots is also from um, Michaels. The printable vellum, I believe I got from Hobby Lobby quite a long time ago. And then I've just been saving for um, to use in projects like this. Um, I love this paper. You'll, I'll end up using actually three pieces to make three different dashboards um, in here. So I wanted to work on my next dashboard and this one um, I just wanted to have as the back piece for that um, Foxy Fix dashboard um, that I had before. And it's pretty simple. I just really put these two pieces to, together and then on for the gold pineapples in the teal background I actually just leave that the same um, that's one of the blank ones that I plan on um, filling out later on um, and decorating I was thinking I might want to use that typewriter die cut but um, it didn't quite go with the theme so I ended up just using another little piece of that die cut um, journaling piece and I stamp on um, a little quote that says shine so bright and this is also from I believe Allie Edwards um, for one of her monthly subscription kits um, so yeah and I just paste that down on the bottom corner Then I just add that back in there. I um, think it looks pretty cute. So moving on to the next dashboard. Um, I only got two of these dashboards. So because um, I wanted to try making one on my own. But these ones from Foxy Fix are like industrial strength dashboards. If you want something that you feel comfortable like tossing around, definitely get the Foxy Fix ones when you order um, if you do that. Um, so on this one, I'm using this, it's polka dots, pink polka dots with these gold pineapples with the green crown. And I wanted to keep it pretty simple again, um, just not to, to distract too much from like what's going to be going on um, in my planner. I don't like things to be too much stuff um, because I, the main goal of this planner, I wanted it to be functional like my Erin Condren was and also be able to carry this around with me and take it places, but I don't want it to be just jam packed that I can't fit it in my purse. So, um, these, I'm using this little washi strip, um, from a sticker set that was also from the local scrapbooking store. And it's, I'm using the one that says dream big. I thought I was going to use some tropical leaves just to kind of go along with the theme, but, um, this one with gold foil on it has um, gold foiled uh, words dream big which I thought would go along with the rest of the page pretty well um, and I'm using this on my desk little typewriter um, I wanted to fit in some little typewriter in there just because I love those little things on there somewhere and that is from Coco Daisy again um, one of those die cuts from the planner subscription box then I just leave that um, tropical leaf print blank. I plan on decorating that later on with some more photos and things like that. Um, so then I take out that acetate that I had created before and use it as a template. Um, I got this honeycomb vellum that is um, gold foiled honeycomb, which I thought was just absolutely beautiful. Um, that I plan on using as a another just little wrap around dashboard um, for my second insert for my weeklies, and that little bone, um, that little piece of bone, like paper folder thing, I think was a silhouette one. I can't remember. I believe it is. It doesn't say on it but pretty useful um so yeah on the 
front of this second um, Foxy Fix or the back of the second Foxy Fix dashboard, I um, end up using that coral piece again. And um, I was thinking of using the um, pineapples again, but I actually wanted to use the teal pineapples with um, the teal page with the gold pineapples on it instead um, just because I wanted to layer a journaling card on that instead and I felt like the um, white pink polka dot one with the green it was just too much to layer something on top so um, I end up using this card just double checking to make sure that's the one I wanted to use um, and I decide to definitely use that one and I keep put that on using the 3M um, glitter washi but I try out using a piece of this like glasses washi first from this kit but I just felt like it didn't 100% go so I end up taking that up. I do end up using this little flag piece though that um, up at the top and then there is a little sticker um, teal sticker with the letter M on it and for my last name Malloy I wanted to put that on there just as a little extra something um, and this is where I decide I might add a piece of die cut but nah and then it does those little glasses don't seem to go so I'm putting them back on the um, washi strip thing to use for another time um, and end up using that 3M glitter washi instead And this time I wanted to make sure the card did not move around a bunch, so I used my 3M, um, or not my 3M, Tombow Permanent Adhesive Roller. Um, and then on the back of this dashboard um, that will be on the inside here, I just do two little die cuts, um, both of them, or the top one, the Hello Coffee die cut is from Coco Daisy, and the bottom one is from a scrapbook kit, I believe from the local scrapbooking store. And so I add that in. Just trimmed it a little bit because I felt it was a little too tight. They are definitely snug in there. <laughs> so those are all the dashboards that I um, put together. Then I work on the front and back. I add that little typewriter up at the front just to add, keep the teal going um, over to the side there and then I use that pineapple um, polka dot one with the green crowns as the front just as like a little extra something and then in the back I use my extra piece of vellum and acetate and layer those on top of each other and just use that. Um, I like I like just the vellum by itself but I felt like the acetate would protect the vellum a little bit more. Um, in case they wanted to use it in a future spread. So um, I put that in there and then that is that. So I will get th start with the flip through. Um, so my first few bits, oh, I didn't start with the flip through. I actually made this bookmark um, out of a piece of leather and then I had some charms that I just found from Michaels. And one of them says... Um, she believed she could, so she did, and it just had a, a little gold star charm with it, and then there's a little gray yellow or gray leather tassel, um, I think it's pleather, and then a little L, L, um, L initial for my first name, Lindsay, so, and I love getting my name engraved on my foxy fix because I just think that adds a little extra piece of class rather than just leaving it blank and I don't I'm not a huge fan of having a little symbol or anything um, so my foxy fix is again that Stella gray leather and I got the white stitching around with the white elastic because I felt like that would go with any spread that I put in here um, opening it up, I have that die cut piece, um, I believe is from Coco Daisy, and then my first dashboard with that beautiful um, tropical leaves and that 
um, journaling card from Michael's. Then I have my monthly setup. Um, I have that monthly insert is from Jacinius Printables, and I print those myself. Then the next dashboard with those pineapples and um, the tropical leaves. Then on the back here, I have just that printable vellum that with that Etsy artwork. Um, and I put in, the, here's the week on two pages weekly that's undated that I plan on using for a couple weeks before I can start using my week on four pages. Um, I also got this shopping list printable from Jacenia's Printables. Um, and that acetate with the gold dots is from Michael's. All these papers are from Michael's, if you were wondering. Um, here's the insert with the week on four pages that I can't wait to use. Um, but they don't start until May. Um, then the second dashboard, that little pen loop I made myself with just a um, binder clip. And then I cut up one of my old... Um, just an older hair tie that I thought looked pretty cute. Um, and I got this pen from Etsy, um, which I will link where I got that pen below. It's just a little cactus pen on this, on the side. It says, stay away from me. And it has a little cactus on there. It's pretty cute. And it's a fine tail, fine tip felt pen. Um, my second insert, and then I got this little Dreams notebook um, from Hobby Lobby, and it was the perfect size, and then the vellum and acetate in the back. Well, I hope you enjoyed that, and if you have any questions about where anything is, please leave a comment below. If you liked it, please like it below, and if you loved it, please make sure you subscribe and to see more videos about planners, my home, my life, and everything else, and I'll see you next time. Bye.